Looks like it's gone. I must be recording. Oh, I need to sneeze too. That's good timing. Hi, it's Tuesday. It's 5.03 p.m. Uh, I actually got out of training at 3.30, but I had stuff to do. And I had to reboot. It looks like I'm going to have to reboot again. Whole disk encryption is being employed on this laptop. I have never been more scared. <sighs> Hopefully this won't be the last time you see me. Um, it is Tuesday. Did I tell you what time it is? Yes, it's 5.03. I'm incredibly tired. Not a good time to be installing software. But I don't control it. My company does. Uh, I've spent all day in training. Got here on time. Got here early. Had two coffees. Kept me awake. Didn't wire me too much. I'm not too wired, but I've foregone my usual large soda. My large pop, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm Minnesotan now. We say pop. And I really need to take a nap, but I can't get out of here while I'm in the middle of installing something that I think needs my attention. At least they wouldn't have had me print out all these pages if it didn't need my attention. The last step is step 42. So right now we're on step one because I'm putting it off until I've got this thing uploaded. So much for hitting the post office today. I got a vote today too. Today is a primary in Minnesota. And I promised the Republicans, well, not the Republicans, I promised Ron Paul that I would vote for his uh, endorsed folks on the Republican side. So I will be voting Republican, which will make me probably the ninth or tenth person to do it by the time we get there. Polls are open until 8 o'clock, so I don't feel too bad about it being 5 already. I'm pretty sure I'll get there before 8, despite the construction and despite the distractions. Constantly distracted. Today we learned about the new ticketing system that's going to take over the old ticketing system. And all I can think about are all the terrible things that are going to happen once they turn off the old system. Like, will we be able to access our the previous 10 years of case data? Or is that just going to go all out the window? How's it going to work with our knowledge base? How are our customers going to react? Will they be happier? Will they be angrier? It never seems like they're happier. We're supposed to embrace change, but change always seems so negative around here. I don't know. Stock flirted with 18 yesterday, though, so somebody's happy about something. I wonder what Wall Street knows that I don't. The other thing is I'm going to make an employee stock purchase, what, tomorrow? Thursday? And it's going to take everything I can not to just sell all the stock right away. But we're in a growth pattern, so i got to hang on to it. Let's see if there's anything i really got to pay for immediately. I do have to buy some state fair tickets, though. Because it's important that I save two bucks a ticket because I end up buying six or seven tickets. So that's 12 or 14 bucks right there. That's like getting one ticket for free. Do you know it's like 11 bucks to get into the fair if you don't buy ahead of time? So when you pre order, it's like nine bucks. That still seems like a lot. But if you judiciously use your $4 markdown from $5 coupon books, you make it all back. Plus, which, if you take the free bus and don't park in the parking lot, which is another ticket, or another 9 or 11 bucks. That free bus is pretty awesome. I think out of the, let's see, how many years have I been going to the fair? This will be like the ninth one, right? Or the tenth one? So I've gone to the fair probably two dozen times over the course of the past ten years, and I think I've taken the car maybe three times out of that. And that, mostly that's because I end up with an extra ticket or we're carpooling with friends and we're all splitting it. But really, where the bus lets you off, it's right next to the animal barn. And you can see the baby animals. And that's the first thing you want to see anyway, right? No, you want to eat. You want to eat something fried and disgusting. For that, you got to get really into the innards of the state fair. I think I'm still four square mayor of a lot of food stands. 
I think last year was probably the last year. Pardon me. I could get away with claiming a lot of Foursquare mayor ships because there weren't as many people doing the Foursquare thing. Two years ago, you could have pretty much anything you wanted. Two years ago, I was mayor of the Target Center for most of the season because I think I was the only season ticket holder to regularly check in. I wasn't mayor at all last season to show you how it's changed. And by the time this season rolls around, I expect that we may end up actually getting the old Super Swarm badge, which means more than 250 people checked in at the same time. A badge I still have not earned. But actually, I could probably earn that at the State Fair. Boy, the State Fair. It's a week from the day after tomorrow. It's next Thursday. That means that my vacation starts Monday. This Monday. Wow. So much to look forward to. If I can just get through the longest week in the world this week. It's only Tuesday. Oh, i got to get up early tomorrow for training. i got to get up even earlier on Thursday for new product presentations. 7.30 for that. Can you believe it? 7.30? The only thing worse than that would be being in California and having to be up at 5.30. Actually, it's probably worse for the dudes in India. Or is it the dudes in Europe? Or is it the dudes in China? It's really inconvenient for somebody, like even more than it is for me. Of course, I care most about how inconvenient it is for me. As much as I love those other people, I do love me that much more. Because when I learned to love myself, it was the greatest love of all. Now, I don't think anybody said anything for me to talk about on the W. No. I did get a comment on Facebook from, what was it? The thing was, it wasn't from yesterday's video. It was from a week ago or so ago. Where is he? Where is he? Hmm. My Facebook notifications are not working. Or he erased it. Stay right there. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Yesterday, a week ago, probably because I mentioned the name of Rich Berry, and that brought Steve Rubin on board. And he asked, is that a Dawson's Creek poster behind you? Yes. In fact, I've talked about it, and I've directed you to the web archive uh, version of the 1998 version of Dawson's Creek.net. Is that what it was? Dawson's-Creek.com. Close enough. But yes, this was a gift from... Cerebus, uh, it replaced the Beastmaster 3 poster, which is actually sitting over there. I keep it out where I can see it because it makes me smile. And I think those are the only posters I have for that space right now. Probably when, uh, am I mumbling? <laughs> Basketball season starts, there'll be a lot more Timberwolves action happening, but I don't know how that's going to work yet. Scott Austin, who uh, is an alleged co-worker of mine, although I've never seen him, he's in some other state, uh, proclaimed that he is more of a Buffy fan himself. What's interesting about Steve Rubin commenting, and he doesn't watch these, so he's not going to get this anyway, is that he commented, and when I got the notification, I was like, wow, I mentioned Internex, and like magic, Steve Rubin pops up. If you don't know who Steve Rubin is, by the way, he's a very colorful character, you should Google him. Uh, but he did not see yesterday's video, and so he could not offer his perspective on Internex, which is sorely needed. And he won't see this today, so I really should stop talking about him. Here's a flashing thing. If I do this fast enough, all the different colors make it look like I have more than one. Whoa! Pretty cool, huh? Oh, now I can't turn it off. Uh, will I turn it off in time? Great. Come back tomorrow where I'll be even more of a zombie and be even more strange and perhaps even entertaining, but probably not. Thank you for watching. You know how to reach me at all the usual places, and uh, that's my 10 minutes, so thanks. Bye.